Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about instruction for comparison. Whenever we want to compare two values, we are using this comparator instructions. Kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates and videos. So, without any further delay, let's get into the topic. So, get an instruction help. Go to details, find instruction and there is a group called data compare. So, in that you have multiple instructions. There are more instructions. Look at this. This is less than and the same symbol you can see. See, this is calendar less than and one more less than is there which is for floating point. This is for long less than. This is a data type. Okay, For different different data type, we have a instruction. So, the same less than, less than instruction is there for word and double integers, floating point numbers even for calendar dates also we have. Alright. So, let us see about three instruction today. So, this is less than and uh, we have greater than and less than. See, equal this is less than and we are going to see about equal and greater than. So, these three instruction we will see in this session. So, let us take equal to first. So, here you have to give the operand which two value you want to compare that one you have to give. So, I am going to use D0 and you have to give one more value no, to compare. So, one is D0 and another one is D1. So, let us take this and take one input which is your let it be a switch. Alright. So, connect these two. Just connect. So, it is connected but still you can see there is an error here. Just a minute. Yeah. See, this equal is having red color. What does that mean? It is having an error. So, how to find out what error and uh, you know where exactly it is? So, let us do the compile. Let's compile it once. So, if you compile, you can able to see what error it is. See, function equal is positioned incorrectly at rung 0. So, what is this position incorrectly? That means, it is not in the right place. So, whenever you are using an instruction, you have to know where to place it. Alright. So, there are two type of instruction. One is input instruction and output instruction. What is the difference between this input and output instruction means where exactly you are going to place in the ladder logic. See, timer and counters are output instruction we will be putting over here. Even addition and you know math operations also a yeah, output instruction. But comparator is a input instruction. So, just cut it and paste it in between and have one output here let us say 100.0 which is uh, let it be as q0 alright see now the error is gone look at this this is the input instruction because from this we have to get the result of this block so that is what it is input instruction if timer and counters are we can able to make use of the address of counter and timer in the remaining rung you can make use of it right. For example, uh, in our previous session if you see we have used the timer in the output you know in the in the right hand side of the rung and uh, to make use of the count, you know timers uh, ad, uh, address we will be using one contact and putting the timer address alright. So, uh, you know for comparator instruction there is no option like that that is what it is an input instruction. So, through this block itself we have to get the output. Okay. 
So let's go for the simulation. So how to make this comparison? What equal what? So whenever you are putting the first value of the address, right? First address that have to be at the right, left side. So now D0 at left and D1 at right and you're equal to the operator have to be in between. So D0 equal to D1. This is the formula. How to frame the formula? D0 have to be left. D1 have to be right. I mean the first address have to be left. Second address have to be right and in between the operator. Now let's see D0 is also 0. D1 is also 0. Just turn on the input condition and your output is on. Because D0 equals D1. 0 equal to 0. That's what it is on. Okay. Now change the value to something. Now the output is off because 23 is not equal to 0. So whenever you want to compare two values that may be some sensor values uh, for example in a you know tank water level control system so you can give the set pointers uh, tank expected height you know expected level once the level transmitter is giving that value you can able to turn off the water you know the flow you can control or the, you can uh, you know cut off the flow I mean you can turn off the motor. So like that you can make the application using this comparator instruction. So turn off this and after that if you change see make this to 23 you will not get the output because your condition is your input condition is false. The rung is false. So make the rung true it will on. Alright. So let's see the next instruction which is less than. So let's put the same input here and take this go for details find instruction data compare and there is yeah let's take this less than first one same value I'm giving d0 type d0 space d1 that's it connect one more output here which is 100.01 which is q1 that's it connect now it's ready to run so now we are going to compare less than so d0 less than d1 means turn on the output that's it Now turn on this. This is on. The first condition is on because 23 is equal to 23. But 23 is not, you know, not, you know, it's not less than 23. It's equal, right? So that's what this is not on. So I'm going to reduce this D1's value. Tap on that. Make it to 22. Now if you see the second instruction becomes high. So the output is true. So, 22 is less than 23. It's true. So, the rung is true. So, like this, we can make the next instruction also, which is greater than. Greater than. And here also I am going to give the same, you know, address D1 will give the same input. Output should be Q0.2. Sorry. M just 100.02 which is Q2 different output now connect the run all right go for simulation so these three are the very simple instruction less than greater than and equal
I'm going to turn on the input. Now D0 is having 22, right? So 22 is less than 23. So the less than instruction is giving the positive output. So 22 is not equal to 23. I mean, uh, yeah, not equal to 23. That's what the first instruction is of. And the last one is off because 22 is not greater than 23. So now change the value of 23 to 24. The last instruction is on because that is greater than 24 is greater than 23. So it is true. I hope you are understanding the concept. Now I am making again back to 23 though. So the first instruction is on. So try to give the you know some floating point value. It will not accept because this instruction is completely dedicated for the integers and word. Okay, invalid value entered. So just delete that. So the last instruction is on because 89 is greater than 23. Simple, right? So I hope you understand these three instructions. I will meet you in the next session with another three instruction in comparison instruction list in Omron PLC. So kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel. I will meet you in the next session. Thank you.